What is up guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. We got ourselves a little night tournament tonight and I'm fishing solo. I have not fished a night tournament solo in a long time or a tournament solo in a long time since my last one up at Chick. But even then you have a co-angler. But it's just me tonight. We're hanging out and we're going to catch us some donks. We got to weigh three big bass tonight out here on Lake Gunnersville. It's a little Tuesday night tournament, the Low Pro Series. There's about 10 boats and it's 60 bucks a pop. So, winner take all, less than 10 boats. I think we got right at 10. So, hoping to bring home 600 bucks tonight, get big bass. I'm excited, we're going fishing deep. I got way too many rods rigged up. One I wanna show you guys, something new I haven't even thrown out here on the ledges is this little guy right here. Little underspin rigged up. Look at that hook. And this bait right there, I got shop Carl's. Carl's bait and tackle, you can get up to 40% off. He's my code below. We're gonna get out there and catch them tonight. I'm excited. Take our time. It's 4 30. We weigh in at 8. Let's go get them. Well, Danny's got himself a new boat, and you're not even driving. <laughs> and Terry, fishing. You guys been out lately? Yeah, yeah, I haven't. Okay. Is that why he's driving your boat? Ah. Right. Uh. <laughs> That's right. Well, I couldn't get anybody to go today. Nobody wants to fish with me after I hooked that guy in the ear. <laughs> Good luck, guys. All right, guys. Pulling up. First stop. Here we go. The wind is howling, going the opposite way of the current. I haven't even checked to see what amount of current they're pulling. So, let's do that. I'm gonna spot lock us here. We found a few fish. Pull up TVA app, go down to Gunnersville. I wanna check the current. Let us know how they're gonna be biting. If we need to go slow, fast, 29,000 gallons. That's pretty good. So, they should, they should bite tonight. Pull up my live scope. You guys are always asking me what mount I'm using. This is the cornfield gear mount. Cornfield fishing gear. Folding mount. I love it. Makes you not look like a shrimp bent over looking at this. We're gonna fish this little ledge. With as many fish as they're down there, I'm gonna start out with the whole vibrant crank. It's a six cents citrus shed. You can get 15% off, six cents using my code AN15. They just increased it from 10%, so have at it. Let's see if we can get us one on this real quick. I better get my net out too. You better prepare. Now we're ready. Let's move. This first spot, they did not bite whatsoever. Man, they were there too. You guys are asking what they look like on the graph, so I'm gonna show you on the next spot. We're gonna show you what they look like. All right, 
right guys, here's what I'm looking for when I stop and fish a spot. Look for all these marks on the bottom. These are all bass and white bass. We found more along the bottom. Whites, largies, mixed, you name it, we're gonna fish for them. white yeah it's another white see ya switching up camera angles on you guys I only have one camera tonight but we're gonna keep it interesting on a 6xd first cast wild white bass big old fat white bass out here on gunnersville big old fatties let's get another one gotta get past those whites make the largest bite Broke off two fish on a deep crank tonight. And I don't know why. Alright, tying on a third crankbait. Broke off two on fish tonight. I don't know what the deal is. edges on them and when they flip like that they just cut the line. We gotta find some largies. They are not hitting like whites. This one's gotta be a large. It's getting lighter like a white. Man, they're hitting hard. They feel just like largies. I know the largies are in there. Big old white. Got one on it. I'm looking for my other crankbait. I just cast it off. I don't see it. I got a fish on this crankbait. My goodness. Maybe I'm not meant to fish this ledge tonight. And this one just got off. No, nope, no, nope, it's still on there. He just baby. No, he did get off. Wow. I have no idea where my crankbait went. <laughs> I'm so confused guys and Now it's sprinkling I don't know what's going on We 
We are about to make a move. Have not caught a largey here yet. I know they're here. All right, guys, tying on the fourth crankbait. I've lost three tonight, which is insane. Never had this happen. Having a hard time getting bit on anything but the crank. do to better my chances I'm gonna break out the old Alabama rig this is the mo rig slide that little bait keeper up I'll pop out got a big one in the back Let's try to better our chances when they come up busting not just get white got one Alabama rig. And it's a white. Come on, Bustin. That's a white. Gotta get on the largest. That's what we're after guys been fishing deep all night try and find four of these oh, that is awesome oh i got him the bottom of the there we go guys Three pounds. First one of the night. Down deep. Real deep. Finally, finally, finally. Six cents deep crank. Way down there. Fish are busting. Fish are busting. This is nuts. Fish are busting and I don't know what they are. And they don't want the Alabama rig. But we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna catch another one on that deep crank real quick. That is awesome. Check the line, so I broke off four crankbaits already. Let's let her fly. So I was kind of pulsating that deep crank fast and then medium speed. I was reeling it down and I was kind of letting it catch up. And I was reeling it down and you reel it so fast the crankbait never stops but it slows down. That's what we're doing. That's when you hit it. Yep. Oh, it's a bigger one. It's an even bigger one, guys. Even bigger than that last one. Oh, yeah. Come on, stay down. He's coming to jump. He's going to jump. Oh man, he's big. He's big. We got a good one, guys. Oh man, he's a slob. He is a slob. And he is trying to spit this crank. Come on. Come up one last time. That is 
what it's about right there five pounder five and a half pounder probably that is a slob yes on the big old deep crank in 25 foot 25 feet of water reeling it down pulsating it that's what it's about right there catching big old donks throwing them in the well back to back let's get another one little excitement break here we got two in the well it is 636 that's how quick it can happen two casts back to back casts with that deep crank i don't know why i'm taking a break talking right now we're gonna get back out there let's get them oh man check your line always check your line no nicks no nicks we're good let's get back out there again this is that chartreuse shad six cents cloud nine C25 going 25 feet and it is 24 25 feet where I'm fishing they're off they're off the the side of the ledge out here oh and this is what you do not want that guy to ruin your cast big old long cast I told you guys at the beginning of the video, AN15 is going to get you 15% off of these crankbaits. And these crankbaits are already almost $10 cheaper than your 10XDs. 10XDs are like 18 to 20 bucks. These are 10 bucks. Six cents website below. Got to share it with you guys. 15% off AN15. Thought that fish was gonna be bigger than that. He came up wobbling, I thought he was huge. We're here in August, 87 degree water, super hot. I fished for two and a half, yeah, two hours without catching one. There we go, we're hooked up again. About my fifth cast with the deep diver. Maybe my sixth or seventh. Oh, he feels heavier than that white bass did, but he doesn't feel like a good one. No, white bass. They're just mixed in together, guys. They are mixed in together. That's a pretty one, though. That's a 17 inch white bass, long. Eat this big old crankbait, he better be big. Far as you can cast, always go as far as you can cast with these. We need another big one, guys. We need another big one. Shoot, I'll sit here all night till I catch another big one. Woo! Another hour and a half left. I've been really cranking this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and retie. Can't hook a big one and break him off. Oh, so the knot I'm tying on these deep cranks is what they call the trash knot, or Jordan Lee calls the trash knot. Look it up. What it is is a double improved clinch knot. So you go through the eyelet, back through like you would a polymer knot. You got your your line like a polymer knot but then you take it you take that loop in and you spin the crankbait three times full turns three to four times go through that bottom loop and back through the one you just made and always lick it you always gotta lick it otherwise that heat's gonna weaken your line that friction let's get another one
Come on. Give me one big old large. I'm going for an eight pounder. guys getting worn out you can only burn this thing so much oh oh my gosh i got smoked at the boat oh reeling this thing up please be a big i was just worn out oh man he's pulling drag whatever i got big oh dang it that's a big old fish that's for sure oh man i thought i had me a giant bass it is a giant drum. They're all out here deep. Oh man, I need the pliers bad. That fish is huge and heavy. exactly what we're looking for on the C25 but there it goes guys yes I said we had an hour it only took five minutes all right there's a that that two and three quarters at least let's go Woo! that fish was so fat I wish it my five was that fat he'd be seven Good one. Good one. That might cold. That might cold, guys. Oh, stay down, stay down. Oh, he jumped and spit it. He jumped and spit it. I was horsing him too. He still got up top. That was a three. Oh, what an epic night, guys. This right here is the bait pros don't want you to know about. <laughs> this is killing them today. Let's go. We got fish blowing up everywhere. Can't tell if they're largies or whites. Let's find out. Got one. It's a white. It's a white. Ah, I need to get back on the bottom. No time to mess with these little whites. Much fun as top water is, we're in a tournament. We are in a tournament and we gotta win this thing.
Yeah, that was kind of cold, guys. I saw them on live scope under me. And they were watching my bait come in, but they weren't eating it. So, I let it hover. And that's what happened. Three pounder. We got to see if it coals or not. All right, for coaling, I'm going to zero them out. I'm going to weigh this guy, and I'm going to weigh the other two three pounders I have. See what coals. This dude's skinny, but he was there. He is. 314 without a tag 314 this guy is 284 I think he's going back super fat bass I think that's the one going back now and 320 that one's 320 small fish is 314 there you go guys that one's going back and it's a good that's a real good night it's almost every cast you get a white or a large I'm tired of the whites crankbait wears you out you got to have a good rod you guys are always asking me what rod i use it's linked below but in my gear it's in my gear this is the 711 david fritz lose medium heavy cranking stick the perfect crankbait rod 711 big old butt on it you can really stick that thing in your side set the hook 25 feet deep you gotta have it gotta have it for throwing this thing and the reel is also linked in my gear you gotta have a reel that can cast half a mile this one right here lose bb1 holds so much line great reel a reel that is meant for cranking We need to secure this thing. grab your line first then the bill of the crankbait and then squeeze the white in the back of the head right there they don't wobble get pliers unless you're just really comfortable take that hook out don't hook yourself and fire another one not sure I got any of that on the video but I just caught a three pound 14 ounce spot and had to throw it back That was awesome. Has a big spot. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Right under the boat. Man, he felt bigger than that. I think I'm getting worn out. This white bass felt huge. Dang.
good one. We're calling out the skinny little white one with that. Yes, we are. Here's the coal. This one is way longer, should be bigger. That one is bigger. Going back, see ya. All right, guys, I weigh in in 13 minutes. I want to take a moment and share with you guys a little something. Um, the, the Lord loves you, and I know you've heard that, but you're supposed to love others because of the way God loves you. If you don't know God's love, uh, and you're probably not saved, but anyways, we were singing a song at church the other day, and it says, my failures and flaws, Lord, you've seen them all, and you still call me friend. And that verse right there just stuck with me, and it made me think about how the Lord loves us. He's seen all of our failures, He's seen all of our flaws, and He still calls us friend. Uh, he's the God of creation, and He loves us that much. But we are called to love others the same way he loves us we see people's failures and flaws we don't see them all but whatever we do see we're still called to call them friend we are supposed to call them friend and love on them and we are supposed to forgive and not hold envy bitterness we're not supposed to judge them whatever their failures and flaws they're in a different spot in their life than you are and we're not here to judge them, but to love them, show them Christ's love. So I want to encourage you to do that today. Look at this sunset out here on the lake. God says, by my creation, my creation is enough to know that I am the Lord. Uh, man. So I just want to encourage you, love others today. We are 12 minutes away from the weigh-in now. I'm going to make about five more casts, and we are going to go weigh in, see what these fish weigh. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. We cold out three times. Two hours without a bass. Every single bass came on that Cloud 9 crankbait. I'm not really like partnered a ton with Six Sense. I reached out asking if I could have some of their deep cranks earlier this year and they said sure. Do you want to, you know, want us to bring you on? And I said I can't really just uh, partner with you guys because my other sponsors uh, you guys have hooks and everything you know I'm with Katana hooks and and I got some swim bait and plastic sponsors Castaic swim baits tight lines UV but I said I'll partner you with you on the deep cranks if you send me some I'll put them in some videos when I use them and this was uh, definitely a video for that cloud nine as amazing best day I've had on it this year 15% off AM 15 on all their stuff, rods, crankbaits, hooks, soft plastics, you name it. But that crankbait did the work tonight. I'm pumped. All right, now let's make a couple casts and go weigh in.
Thank you. Show it up. <laughs> Four, it's been a bit. There we go. Thank you. All right. Is that it? Got, yeah, well, since there's only seven, I'm play, only paying one. All and right. you got big fish, too. So. Well, thank you. you took the whole pot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate Congrats, it, bro. Congrats, thank you, guys. Congratulations. Well, thank thanks, you, Danny. Uh, <laughs> Wish you had stayed at home. I, <laughs> I almost did. I, I almost know. did. There you have it, guys. Hot, sweaty, humid summer, August month. Fish down deep. Whew. It's the first win I've had in a Tuesday nighter in a little while, so that felt good. We've gotten second and third in a bunch, and uh, it's a blessing taking on the win solo tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had 11 pounds, 8 ounces. God is good. Remember, love on some people today don't judge them and uh you don't want people judging you you want people to love you so anyways we're gonna get out of here god bless you we'll catch you next time here on fishing with norby